storm show. Hey, it's a storm show. The story we really here for today. Portia Williams has been trending for the last 12 hours with the announcement that she's dating and in love with Simon Gobadia from Real Housewives of Atlanta. Even though he is the almost ex-husband of Fallon who was friends with Portia. But now Portia want to say we were never friends. Wait a minute. But that ain't what you said on that fake ass reality show. Oh, we, we, we going to get into it. Right off top, I do believe this shit is for ratings. I am not fully invested in this relationship. I already told y'all who Simon is. First of all, Simon ain't his first name. This is middle name, number one. Number two, his papers have never been solidified. This man ain't even... I mean, I get... If you never if you never get your papers together when you come to this country, but you've been married a couple times, does that make you legal? Somebody that work for ICE, let me know. Don't make me go send ICE around your house now. Don't you not, not nigga? Don't you take that nan video of mine down again? Or oh, I'm I'm I, I look. We know Porsche's address. She up in Duluth. I'm sending I'm sending ICE right around your house. Don't do it again. I don't give a damn. I, what you wrong? So I don't give a damn. Don't take that nan video of mine down again. Anyway, but he is a scammer allegedly. All right, he is one of the men that has a bunch of money but you don't really understand where it came from allegedly in his youth that money was dirty he, he got it by any means necessary it may be cleaned up now and embezzled through legitimate businesses but in his 20s and 30s this man ran through women he ran through money he ran through cars he was just that kind of dude and he has always loved a, a, a hot young chick on his arm and y'all might wonder but Porsche ain't that young she for, she's younger than him she's younger than him and she's pretty and you can say a lot about Portia, but you can't say she ugly though you can't say that now what you guys also need to know is that in a dead show to that let's move right along exhibit one we look at this picture this is the first picture that came out the other day we see Portia, Simon, and Dennis all together. First of all, Simon and Dennis is friends. What do Simon and Dennis got in, got in common besides pot bellies and bald heads? So we do know that Portia has a type. I mean, at least she keeps it consistent, you know, looking at your man and trying to take your man at the same time. I got a question for you, Portia. When you was around there at Fallon's house, plumping, clapping your cheeks down there, you know, being a princess of Thailandia that you was and pissing in our damn pool like a dog. When you got up out that pool to go run to the bathroom to go wipe your coochie lips, did you really go to one of the mini bathrooms in that big ass home in Fallon's house or did you slide up out that door and slide up in where Simon was and, clunk, 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 and gave him the Gawk 3000? I want to know what was you doing? Was you was you sliding into the bathroom or was some cheeks being clapped? I want to know, Portia. The people want to know because you just peeing in that girl pool it was all good just a week ago and now we was never friends we ain't friends y'all want friends bullshit Portia bullshit now when you look at this picture again look at the ring that's on Portia finger hold up cause y'all think it's a game look at the ring that's on Portia finger why is she wearing a ring on her left hand finger and then boom that's the same ring that Fallon had so I said y'all recycling rings now we're recycling rings, or does Simon just have a never-ending supply of the same engagement ring? Come on, y'all. Something is up with this shit. It's, it's screaming fake. It's screaming storyline. It's screaming a way to stay on the show. Who knows? But wait, there's more. There's more. Then, upon further examination of this damn picture, I said, why does Portia look pregnant? Portia looks pregnant. Why is she wearing a big, puffy dress i understand it was mother's day and it was her grandmother's 84th birthday and it was just a whole bunch of celebrating going on but why her stomach looks poofy now her booty already big she already pregnant in her ass we know that but ain't no baby in there that's all injections and chicken and hennessy alizé and getting and, and doing the doggy style but what is going on in the front is looking a little puffy by the way so i said well damn she got a ring quickly and that quickly and it just it, it just all looks a little odd and i said is portia snatched that damn good to get these niggas in line because this is what's funny mr dennis here had a whole problem when she was rolling down on bolo even though i mean we can't we can't compare to bolo so i, I understand why he was mad at bolo because like he said you ain't dating 
hate nobody, but you should fuck it. So I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just you that close to a uh, to a new man that quick at Nana's birthday, Mother's Day. It, it's it's giving. We all in a relationship. It's giving. We all doing it. It's giving. Simon got the front and Dennis got the back. It's giving. We all screwing and slopping and swapping fluids. That's what it's giving. That's what it's giving. And Porsche and, and Porsche got them all in line. Porsche a low name. You know you a nasty freak, Porsche. Porsche look like she'll tell them both now lick y'all ass. I want y'all to lick each other ass now. Lick your ass. I ain't gonna lick yours. Anyway, moving right along from that. We're gonna go to the next one. All right. Our relationship began a month ago. Yes, we are crazy in love. Okay, Beyonce. I know it's fast, but we are living each day to the fullest. I choose happiness every morning and every night. Tuning out negativity and positive wishes. He makes me so happy. For all of you that need facts, I get the optics, but Simon filed for divorce from a previous marriage in January. A previous marriage? Oh, you mean filing the whole marriage and relationship that we've seen on the show? You just gonna do this shit in front of us and act like we ain't seen the whole relationship in show on camera? Okay, all right. A uh, family and I are not friends, and, so, and Simon's divorce has been settled. I actually, no, it's being finalized. But okay, our relationship is positive, loving, and loving, and step forward in everybody's lives. Okay, boom, move on. So, uh, Simon and Dennis are committed to be respectful and supportive of my happiness. Yes, yeah, Porsche, you better work that snitch. As well as being the best co-parents they can to baby PJ. Two black men stepping up and being amazing people. Let's praise them. Don't you bring God into this shit, Porsche? It's truly a beautiful moment in my life and I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together. Mm, the rest of our lives together. Love wins. So then we go on. Wait a minute. So then Fallon responds and she says, look, I just want to thank y'all for reaching out and support. I'm focusing on myself, my divorce and healing and sending positivity to all. Here's the thing with Fallon. Simon alleges that Fallon cheated on her, which is why they're no longer together. Is, is it possible? Yeah, it's possible she could have cheated, but Simon has a history of cheating on every woman he's been with, and so that's karma, simply. I mean, it is what it is. What else do you think you got in common with a young-ass woman? Don't get me wrong. I know that's, you know, the, the, the YouTube gurus of the world is going to tell you that age gap dating is what you need to do, but at the end of the day, if you are a very older man and you got a young woman, you got, you, you your ass better be able to keep up. That's all I got to say. Your ass better be able to keep up. Then, Boom, you roll over to TMZ, a new exclusive where Portia says, I was never really friends with Fallon. I faked it for the show before dating her ex. Now, how low down is that? Don't y'all remember in my exclusive months ago and 30 pounds ago that Simon's team had taken down from YouTube? Don't y'all remember when I told you that Portia was going to bring Fallon on the show simply to be like a freaking frack type of situation to try. It was literally just going to bring it for a storyline. They didn't really know each other like that. They have hung out, but they ain't like friends like that. Hold on. Hold on. Friends for the show. So according to Portia, what really happened is that she met Fallon the day of filming. Mind you, Simon and Dennis been friends. I think you would have met Fallon before that, but maybe, maybe I'm wrong. But according to Portia, 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 her and Fallon met the day of filming and the producers told her to act like they had been friends the whole time. Now, right there in that exclusive, don't that show you how fake as hell these reality shows are? Don't they show you how desperate the Real Housewives of Atlanta is for a storyline that they would do anything to get it? So why wouldn't y'all think that Portia would fake a damn engagement or fake a relationship for a storyline when they have them faking friendships too? Reality TV is fake. Can y'all can we all get that through our heads now? You know, you know they, her team had to clean that up because they was just simply saying, oh, we ain't friends. But y'all was hanging out and you was pissing and flopping your big ass in a pool. Your big ass for Black Lives Matter. Come on now. Come on. She been messing with that man. She been messing around with him. Would they actually get married? I don't know. But they been messing around. That whole month timeline, I'm not believing that at all. Then you go and you look at, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold up. Not yet. Not yet. Boom. This is when Fallon was introduced to the show. Look. Look. Look how Portia was looking at Simon then. I believe they was messing around then. Then look, 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 look. This is what make it worse, right? If y'all remember from that episode, I don't know why I'm whispering. But if you remember from the episode while the girls was out there playing in the pool, Simon stayed out there the whole damn time. 
Y'all don't find it a little odd. Usually the man leave because he ain't really trying to hear a girl talk like that. He stayed out there the whole time. So you was in front of her man and taking her man. I want to know, Portia, as you was dipping your cooch in the pool, as you was dipping your activism apple bottom, when you after you got through pissing in that pool and you got out to go wipe yourself off in the bathroom, was you really in that bathroom? Or did you go sneak in where Simon was? We want to know The timeline is not making sense Atlanta is small but it ain't that damn small Portia So then This lady right here exposes Simon today Her name is Jessica Cakes XOXO in North Buckhead Ooh is she bleaching or is she just that damn pale No shade 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 No 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 but it's ooh ooh Anyway That ain't none of my business According to this lady here, she been talking to Simon since March 29th. Wait a minute. Today's May 11th. A month ago would have been April 11th. This lady in North Buckhead says she been talking to him since March 29th. And she would she didn't realize they were broken up ever. Even though that wasn't no relationship. That wasn't nothing but a, you know, a, 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 a wham bam. Thank you, man. We already know what that's about. Come on now. Wait a minute. Come on now, we already know what that's about. And that same sweater she got there in her lap is another picture on Simon's IG where he had that wrapped around his damn head. That's his car. We all we already know. We 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 it's it, they were they were definitely together at some point. So the timelines is mushing all together, which is giving me a fake engagement. It's it's just it's all giving me fakeness, and this is not making any sense. You want to know how else it's not making any sense? Cause the shit came out back to back to back. First, you know what I'm saying? She's in love. Then the picture. Then his statement. Then Fallon statement. Then the engagement ring. It's just it's give it's it's giving a setup and a setup for what you may ask. Boom, a new three part special. So as of just what a half an hour ago, it's been announced that Portia Williams is going to have a three part special on Bravo. Now according to Bravo, this special was already planned before the scandal came out. It just so happened now they're only going to announce it now with this scandal. Get the hell out of here. You want me to believe that shit? Y'all give her a three. Y'all want to talk about no three part special before? Y'all want to talk about now? Now she's having a three part special and it's gonna cover activism and Black Lives Matter and oh that's great. But you best believe they gonna cover this shit going on with Simon and I want to see when they're on screen together. I want to see if I see real chemistry. Remember they told her to fake a friendship with Fallon, so why wouldn't they pay her and tell her to fake a whole relationship and engagement with Simon in order to save the damn show? This is the most we have talked about that show and portion in a long damn time. We ain't talked about portion this month. Since, since Dennis was cheating on her the first time with them little puppy dogs, allegedly. That Queen Virgin Remy, Queen Virgin Remy, we ain't talked about it since then. And I'll be talking about it now. I'm like, Portia, if you're going to fake some shit, you got to do that shit better than that. Who in the hell is on your team? I know Lauren, your sister's on your team. You might want to expand your shit if you're going to feed it some fake ass shit like that, Portia. Can y'all at least get a different ring? If y'all going to sit there and pretend to be together, can y'all at least build a better timeline? Can y'all at least delete certain pictures off your IG? Y'all should have been had this shit playing. You should have told your hoes to close her IG down so she wouldn't be so Jessica Cakes XOXO. Them cakes that Simon, I believe he been eating them cakes because he loves him a light skin, young, little pretty young thing. So I believe he been eating them cake, cake, cakes. She could have shut her damn mouth and she wouldn't have made it to the damn shade room to expose the fact that she's still, she, she's like, I thought I was still with Simon. Not what, what's happening now. It's giving Kardashians PR. It's giving Larsa Pippen. But you guys know what else it's giving? Wait a minute. You know what else it's giving? Hold up. You know what else it's giving? I'm going to show you. Because guess who else had to fake something for the show? Hold up. Hold up. Because y'all think this is a game. These people do anything. And I tell you anything for a check. They would do anything to save their show. Allegedly. 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 According to sources that you ain't heard from me. That Nene Leaks, Greg, whole break up, separate to make up and get back together and get remarried was all Faked for television. They were never getting a divorce. 
allegedly. That white Italian man that you seen on the show with Nene that was giving her watches, she admitted on lip service with Angela Yee. You know, the only time we pay attention to that podcast is when something like that is going down over there. She even said over there, I never slept with that man. Nene said she was, she's afraid of a white penis. She said he pulled it out and it was pink. And she said, ah, oh, 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 oh. She didn't give it to Gawk 3000. She didn't give it to Paul Shaw. She didn't give it to Phaedra Parks. Head doctor way better than being a lawyer. Head doctor should have been a head doctor the whole motherfucking time. That's what, oh, oh, oh. That's what she said when she saw that little red, that red rover ass penis. I mean, damn, he, he white. What color did you think his penis was gonna be? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, but she she said that the rings and, and I mean not the rings, them watches and purses and all that. <laughs> I mean, she accepted all of that, but all of this shit is fake. And so whenever the show is 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 in desperate need of ratings. These people are giving bonuses to do what they got to do to get a damn special. So at the end of the day, we got a three-part special coming. The last time Portia had a three-part special, she was engaged and pregnant. But supposedly, it's going to be about activism. So we'll see. We got Simon and Dennis that's been friends this whole time. And now they both cool. But Dennis and Simon both got scamming past. So y'all don't think they were scammed now? This is the easiest scam to do in the world. They used to scamming women out of money. You think they can't scam... A, re- a damn uh, audience on a reality show. Y'all believe that shit is real anyway. And it's not. It's all manufactured. All the press and the PR going back to back to back. The side chick assignment coming out saying me and him been together since March 29th. You know, sometimes we want to pull off things in life, but we 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 just we we don't cover all our bases, and that is de- this is definitely one of those situations. In the last twelve hours, Portia is we've learned Portia is engaged, maybe pregnant with a man that's that's with a woman in Buckhead who's still not divorced, who's friends with her ex. Who just so happened to be it it in a three part special, but they had this the whole time. Y'all didn't talk about it before. This makes no sense. Now I do believe Portia is trying to make up her mind if she wants to come back on the new season of Roswell's of Atlanta. But I think that she would not be able to turn down that money. I think she knows how to get to the bag, and you see that smile on her face. She just secured her peach. Boom, boom, boom. And by the time it comes out with, with, with proof that they can't get around, that the whole thing was made up, nobody's going to care anymore. Uh, it's storm show. Uh, it's storm show.